All right, we came out today to talk about the proposed settlement. We see um, gaps in the proposed settlement. We applaud it. We say it's a great first start. Um, we are looking at getting more money into the category for kids. We want some adults who don't seem to be covered. We want money and we want to cover them. Um, we see property damage um, categories with certain smaller percentages. And then we understand that other defendants can settle. For example, the EPA, the engineering firms, and that money can go into those firms. I mean, to the, into those funds. So we're looking to understand the details of the agreement. The media have been sending them to me. They say they're posted. We understand more people can sign up. And so since we've been in this from the beginning, we helped recruit lawyers. We brought lawyers in. They've done a fine job. We've um, hopped over some legal hurdles, but we still believe we're not going to give up our comment time talking to our attorneys and talking um, in the public through the media what we want this agreement to look like. And this is the first day of a 45 day or so long conversation. Is 600 million enough? 600 million is not enough. When you take off the attorney fees, and I don't know if it'll be 33 and a third percent, but that 600 million shrinks down to maybe 300 and some million. And so we have questions. Even if another 600 million came in, would that take the attorney fees up if it was 1.2 billion? Would that take those fees up to 400 million every time the fund jumps up? So we have some questions. We have some concerns. We want attorneys to be paid, but we also want the fund to be up. So I don't care if the attorneys make 600 million themselves, but then I would want the fund to be 1.6 billion. So we're just watching the balance of what will get to the people, what group it'll get to, minus attorney fees. What does the nation need to know about Flint families in this moment? What we've been through and where we're at today? The nation need to know that we're standing strong. We have lost some people. Some people have died. We've got some unknown injuries. We know that lead is regulated and we know a little about lead, but we did not know and we still do not know about germs and other bacteria um, that we experience in the water. But we want them to know that we're here prayerful. We're smiling. We still have our intelligent mind. We're in the middle of litigation. We're sane enough to negotiate and speak up to our attorneys. And um, we ask everybody around the nation, even though we're an example and other cities have some of the similar problems, we're asking for people to continue to pray for us. We're Flintstone strong. God bless America.